All right, Blood Moon. Let's have a look at Blood Moon. <laughs> Can you stop the spam? Fucking hell, bro. Wait, what's what's the priest stuff? Shame is not MP5. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Instantly shield target ally for 300, but sacrifice 300 of your own health in return after two sec. Is that it? Yeah, I guess you can break CC with it. I guess if there's not that many trinkets available, this is kind of nice, but I guess it's a five minute corner. It's not too bad. Yeah, you can't use one of the rings then, though. You have to see what other rings are available. This is kind of nice. You need to consider that Underworld Band exists, right? So 10 stamps and... Is Underworld Band 14 shadow damage as well? I think it is. Yeah, so it's like uh, you're losing five stam. I think it's four, in, four spirit or something like that. You're getting the intellect and you're getting the MP5. So, like, overall, I think this is better. But you could obviously only use one. This might not be too bad, you know. 300 shield is like, it's not terrible. It's not going to be affected by more. I wonder if you can get them all. I think the fact that it says unique equip means you can actually get them all right. You just can't use them all at once. If you could only get one of them, then they wouldn't have the unique equipped. But instantly heal a target ally for 300, but sacrifice 300 of your own head. I mean, the priest one is just straight up better, right? Unless you can dispel it. That might be rough. So what, everyone can just death shit now. I don't know if I like that. Literally, everyone just has the same thing. Except Priest who has a shield one, which so it's not affected by mortal, I guess. Everyone else is healing. Weird. Except Mage doesn't have one. Sorry, Helium Mage. <laughs> you could probably macro this, right? So shield someone and instantly swap the, the trinket to not get combat. I wonder how long it lasts. What other things are there? Offhand, Arcane Nature. It's pretty good. Feral Mace. Jeez, calm down. Adds five Storm Strike damage to your melee attacks, damaging the target and its nearest allies. Does Shamans have this shit as well or something? Or is it just they're calling it Storm Strike? Why do Ferals get some spicy weapon? Knocks the target silly for two seconds. Bro, they got Mace Stun. No. Wait, wait, wait. We need to start at the start. I'm toted already. Okay, Hunter. Let's see. A bow. Chance on hit increases strength by 50 for 15 sec. Kind of fast, isn't it? Probably not great. Increase pet crit chance by 1%. Your pet's crits cause you to gain it. Gain mana, quiver, attack speed on it. Mage just has some damage rings. Paladin probably has some crit shit. Damage sword, a two-handed one that's just better. Unleash a delayed explosion of blood and light, causing 150 twilight damage to all targets within 10 yards. Okay, boomer, Jesus. Healing ring for priests. Damage ring for shadow priests. Nice little shield trinket, can't complain. Uh, Rogue's got 1.9 dagger, two dagger. Interestingly, the offhand is slower than the main hand. Is that dumb? I feel like that's dumb, chat. 1.4 offhand. Don't you want the offhand to be fast? I guess Mewtwo, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Bladestone Barrier, just chonky boy. The Shaman Privilege. Here's 1.2k armor. More than an entire priest class. No worries. Enjoy your shield. Yeah, this is Monkess. Bloodstorm War Totem. Why? 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 Why has it got Mace Stun? Why has it got Mace Stun? Here we damage trinket. Healing trinket. Lock got fire damage, shadow damage. So they get a bit more stats, but no regen. I, don't, I actually really like the itemization of this. I think they've done well there. That's like, they're conscious of shadow needing mana. Your pet gains 20 stamina, 80 intellect. Oh my god, it's Void Star Talisman. It almost is, anyway. Isn't there some some um, rune that makes you get a load of shit from your pet's stats? What was that? Here, look, this increases your spell damage and healing by a value of 10% of your demon pet's total stam plus int. So 10%, not that much, is it? 10, sta 10 spell damage, basically. We should delay the explosion of blood, doing AV damage, whatever. Dude, I don't understand. Why is everyone else's, like, weapons just, like, normal people's weapons? And then, like, the Shaman 200 is just, like, full Steve Buscemi playing 200 fucking Shaman tier player. It's like they know that the fucking community of players that actually play two-handed fucking Enhance are, like... Dumbasses. So they just give them the most dumb shit. Sorry if I've uh, pissed anyone off with that, but yeah. Feels bad. Epic staff for healers. Wait, is there more loot? I'm updating everything. Time for... Is this the loot? Oh my goodness. Dude, how are they data mining so much? How have they fucked this up so bad, man? How have they fucked this up? Like, at least encrypt this shit, man. What is staff, by the way? Healing spells, 35. Damage done by arcane spells. Is this for the, uh, the little arcane mage healers? Staff will sometimes be... Able to shock a dead player back into life. Cannot be used while in combat. Seems unnecessary. <laughs> Druid staff, get the fuck out of here, bro. Fuck off. Some of them are red herrings, yeah. Yeah. Dammer plugs. Rocket cleaver, sheesh. Hydra staff allows underwater breathing. <laughs> this is fucking useless. <laughs> 23 frost rounds. We're gonna take this just for mages, man, just to troll them. Big damn sword. This is higher top end, man, than this shit. That's so troll. The epic fucking axe is just shafted, man. What? Why is it 2.7 speed, bro? Jesus Christ. Question is, where's the fucking damage two-hander, boys? 
I mean, this is trash, right? It's like forgot to do a damage to Handerman. <laughs> Good luck. Supercharged head chopper. That's a target for eight. Mate, what if the proc chance on this is balked and you just spam proc this shit all the time in its top deeps? Thermal plugs will be 3.8 speed. The 2.7 is a red herring. You think, mate, this is, this, I mean, that's so troll if it's, this is like the epic act, right? Somebody's sitting there going, <laughs> everyone's going to mold over this. And the fact that there's no cast of staff as well, only like arcane spells. Greater insignia. Wait, what is this? Removes all movement impairing effects and all effects. That's nutty. So it, it's not class specific anymore. A polearm, automatic crab pummeler. Oh, we got some more stuff here. Uh, we've got a cast of dagger. Got some armor on it. Stam and int. Decent amount of dam. Um, very quick sword. Interesting. Uh, and a very slow fist. Reduces all resistances by 45 and increasing all spell damage taken by 6%. Jeez. Is this like a tank item, honestly? Or is it just going to own for uh, for rogues or whatever? Enhanced shaman. Yeah, man. Fuck. That's sick. What the fuck? I don't want to be on the end of that. 6% more spell damage for the raid, right? It's nutty. Toxic Revenger 2. Kiki move. There's a lot of proc items, isn't there? Punctures target, lowering armor, increased defense, attack power, a healer offhand, DPS offhand. Honestly, there's no good offhand, is there? By the looks of it. Where's the offhands? There must be more, right? There's no way this is the only offhand. Like, if you're running this, you're going to want an offhand. I mean, there's no way it's just this. Like, where's the stats? So I'm target's weapon for five seconds. Wait, there's no way you can... No, it's an axe. Look, it's not a held in offhand. I was going to say, imagine you can run this as a, as a caster. And then you can just whack people as the caster and get a chance to disarm. That'd be fucking nuts. Uh, you got the epic gun. 2.9 speed. A lot of epics. Wand. Oh my god, the wand is trash. The wand is giga trash. Omega trash. Uber trash. Eternally trash. 2 speed, by the way. And there's a 1.5 speed one as well. 9 damage and healing. 8 in. Mate, my current wand is 5 in and it's 1.2 speed. And I'm definitely not replacing it. Kiki, stop. An amulets. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's nice for Shadow. Piston Pendant. Nice healer one as well, but no stam on it. So I think you'd probably be running this as disc as well. Kiki. Kiki. Stop. Uh, obviously a little tank, a little DPS one. Uh, some cloaks. Bit of dam, stam, int. Standard, good stuff. Nothing wrong there. A uh, little healer one with regen on, but no stam again. Sag. Probably run this one. Although two MP5 is pretty nice. Rings. Wee. Rings are kind of bad, aren't they? Rings are really bad. That's really awkward. These are trash. I think so. You you are actually gonna want the um the underworld band. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Why am I? Why have I gone? Okay. Yeah. That's that's very awkward. Yeah. The the PVP event ring is good, but you need two rings, right? And you don't really want to use this. So you'll probably be running the underworld band as your second ring, if you can get it. Trinkets. So more damage and healing than our current one. Randomly channels between 1 to 150 health into 1 to 150 mana every one sec for 10 sec. I wonder if this is going to be like, if this is going to be like, what's it face? Oh, might be. Sorry. How far down did we go? Oh my goodness, we missed so much. Holy. Okay. We've got a fair bit to go through still. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be like Skull of Impending Doom, where the skull rolls a percentage, like a number at the start, and all of the ticks are that number. So if you roll like a 1 or something, then you can just cancel it. And I also wonder if this is a straight channel. Or if you can just use it and it ticks. Because imagine you imagine you roll like a one, right? You're channeling. You're going to drop combat. You might as well just drink. Yeah, it's going to be like an evocation. But if you roll a bad one, you can, and, and it's the same every tick, you can just stop, right? There's no point. Although, to be fair, if you roll a 150, that's 1.5k health. Uh, increases attack speed by 5%. You may be able to push this experiment further. Interesting. Pill bottle. Nice spirit. Nice region. Wow, really nice region on this trinket. And nature resistance. Makes target and ally immune to snare and immobilizing effects for the next five seconds. Also removes... Wow, that's really good. The real, the little freedom trinket. Jeez. That's crazy good. I'm sure it works on yourself, right? And then a little tank trinket. This is kind of nice. Maybe into rogues. Turn you into a trog. And then battle chicken by the looks of it. Cloth armor. None from raid. Interesting. A uh, little damage and healing shoulder with extra armor. A lot of it has extra armor on. That's nice. Healer chest with a lot of mana per five on the set interesting sadly it's uh it's got boots in it right so you can't really run this because you need to use the epic ps boots so that's a shame you're going to be running two set only this one's got additional armor so i think you're going to be running this as a healer anyway yeah you'll be running the tailoring helm and tailoring boots for sure 
Irradiated robe. What the fuck is this? This is like full PvE boy mode, right? This is like glass cannon robe. Holy shit. This is the PvP one. Two set minus five down. <laughs> That's so troll. This is good. This is healer version. Not good. No stam. It's sad. A lot of the... I think disc is not actually in a very good spot at all. Just even looking at the loot. Like the talents aren't great. The loot isn't great. Like double hurt, double the spell is going to have to carry us hard. Because disc is not looking fantastic this phase, boys. Shadow's looking good, but disc is not. I saw there are some new cloth boots with 1% hits. So why would you run tailoring boots? Because you're not running the tailoring boots for 1% hit. You're running them for the 30% less damage taken on use. Which is going to be used at level 60. It's literally the most game-breaking shit ever. Extra armor. Dude, so many items with extra armor. This is fantastic. Again, more caster healer things with no stamina on is unforge. So you're going to be running stuff like this. Is, these are good. Waste with hit on. This is really nice. This is definitely worth picking up. Uh, we've got the set legs. Hyperconductive skirt. It's probably the one to go for. Extra 1% hit. So like worst case scenario, you'll have 3% hit, right? You get the belt. You have the two set from your, your set. And then you'll have the boots with the 1%. Dude, these irradiated ones are fucking crazy, man. Kind of hope they just make the tailor boots ineffective above level 20. I don't know why they wouldn't just make them upgradable. It's really strange. Acidic walkers. Kind of bad. Leather armor. Oh, man. I'm not even that hyped for leather armor, bro. Did we do the Arathi basin loot yet? No. Oh, nice braces with the hit on. There's so much hit on the uh, thingy items. It's crazy. I guess Melee needs more hit. Oh, my God. Look at these. 21 agility, by the way. Nimble trip. Dude. He's a crazy. What? My belly. Right. I mean, mail is not, it's just not that interesting, is it? Stealth plus one. Where did I miss a stealth plus one? Uh, here. It increases your effective stealth level by one. Not the worst. And plus five daggers. Sheesh. Man, it's so much good loot. What the hell? Wait, mail gets... Oh my goodness. What is this, bro? The little edge masters. Imagine getting this and edge masters. Are the braces all bad? I don't even see the priest braces. I didn't take note. Let's see. Cloth armor. Wrists. I mean, they're, yeah, they're okay. It's not amazing, is it? Right, what are we down to here? I don't even want to look at plate, man. I feel like the plate gear always has so much fucking stats on them. What is this? 20 to 22 damage. What? Calm the fuck down. Right, what's any of the loot? Where's the Arafi Basin loot, though? Is it good enough to skip Warson Gulch rep farm? What's the Warson Gulch ones, even? We have to see that shit. Compare. Where's the braces, man? Did I miss them? Here. Wrists. Yeah, these are not bad, right? Did anyone have a Arafi Basin loot? Or was there not one? I want to see the fucking priest thing updated, man. 